For you, the day Sumeri graced your subreddit was the most important day of your life. But for me, it was Tuesday. Welcome to r slash dank memes from Site19, the bi-weekly show where I review, I guess the review is the right word? I look at memes from the SCP r slash dank memes from Site19 subreddit and give a little bit of commentary about what I think about them as a SCP author myself. So let's get started. Learning about SCPs from the wiki, small brain. Learning about SCPs from YouTube regular brain learning about scps from containment breach big brain learning about scps from r slash dank memes from site 19 galaxy brain see this is the uh funnily enough i don't know that learning about them from any particular sources really matter as long as at some point you read them i guess that's the important part wherever you learn about them eh, who cares learn from them where you enjoy learning from them you're not going to lose anything by learning only about them on SCP Containment Breach, as long as they're accurate. Of course, SCP Containment Breach's problem is that they just have the popular, uh, like, Series 1-ish style. I know they've started to incorporate other ones, but mostly it's Series 1 stuff. So I guess the best way to put it is it doesn't matter where you learn about it. It only matters what you're learning about. Foundation. Discovering something that doesn't exist. MTF. Any SCP after a round of amnestics. There's nothing here. Uh, SCP amnestics. The overused uh, story trope. Me has a small cough. My parents, you are fine. Doctors, you are fine. WebMD, zombie plague. <laughs> that, see, this is inaccurate. WebMD would not tell you you have a zombie plague. It would tell you you have cancer. Or heart disease. Or cancerous heart disease. But that's the trouble, by the way. WebMD is a lot more accurate than people give it credit for. The problem is, is that when you find out that you know nothing is wrong, you keep looking until you find out something might be wrong. There aren't any wholesome SCPs. SCP-4999, 2295-348-3786-3540-999. There's more than just those, even. But those are good examples, I suppose. You know, I don't know that I've written any wholly wholesome SCPs. Let me think about that for a second. Um, well, I guess 2913 is sort of, sort of wholesome. It does involve a serial killer, but there's just a sentient severed hand that really wants to sit down and watch some TV and not be left alone. I want to join an anomalous organization. Google SCP Foundation. Bing. Chaos Insurgency. <laughs> Excite. <laughs> Dado. I, it doesn't say that, but that would have been. I think that would have been kind of funny. Oh man, what are the excite? Actually, I don't even know if excite still exists. Jesus, Bing exists for sure. I keep getting these ads for this, like, uh, use our search engine so that you can plant trees on YouTube. And I'm like, uh, but I. What if I don't like trees? What if trees are bad? What if I think that trees are going to kill us all? Not that they are. That's uh, privileged information. Don't tell anyone that. Use a, use a search, I guess, maybe advert. Uh, same way Google probably makes money advertising or whatever. E either way, it's like, oh. I love you, Spicer. And I love you, Fly. Very well. Let us go, my love, to Pastures Unknown. End log. Approximately 10 seconds after this. Yeah. The approximately 10 seconds after this is, uh, let's just say, a trope for the SCP wiki. It's like something happens, something happens, something happens, and then stops happening forever. And then it's like, ah, see, bet you didn't expect that. The problem is, is that uh, now we've come to expect it as a trope. So unfortunately, it doesn't work anymore. I guess it works for some people. Worked for this guy, me, after any r slash. There's a subreddit for that? Oh, no. Really? Of course there's a subreddit for that. I don't know why I'm saying that. Ugh, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. I just don't get it. The time for talk has passed. The Lord's work must be done. I mean, also, I don't I, I don't get this reaction to it either. I mean, I don't get why people want to see porn of SCP articles, but also, like, let people be what they want to be. Let them do what they want to do. It's not my business. I don't have to understand it to be like, you know what, do you do you. 
I mean, I'm. Don't get me wrong, by the way. Don't get me. Don't get me twisted. I'm going to be judging you all the way down the line, but forever and always. But, uh, you know what? I don't mean anything. You, you got to do what you enjoy. <laughs> ah, the bodies in the water. This is just, this is just, by the way, there's a lot of, there's, you do not recognize the bodies in the water memes that I, I found when I was doing my, or compiling my list this week. And it's like, I don't know. I was in the break room at the time of the breach, Dr. Olasky. There is no break room on the site. See, this, this, I want to tell you something. This doesn't make any sense to me. It never did make any sense to me. Dr. Olasky's got to know. First of all, there's no break room on the site. It's a big site. There's a break room somewhere. Second of all, <laughs> second of all, there isn't a break room. And Dr. Olasky either doesn't know that or doesn't think anyone's going to notice that. It's such a, mm. let me put it this way. The twist in that is well thought out but the execution of it is so haphazard because sure finding some sort of serious inconsistency in the story that it wasn't accounted for makes sense but the f the break room is such a stupid choice how how are you not gonna know that I was in the break room at the time of the breach. You, you didn't, he, this man thought out things down to the fucking, like, the atomic detail. But his, in his plan, in his backstory, in his alibi, I was in the break room at the time of the breach? Like, come on. Uh, it bothers me more than it should, probably, but still. See, this is another bodies in the water. Bodies in the water exist. Me, I don't even know who you are. I love that scene, though. God. Scarlet Witch is amazing. And I love they made her super powerful, even in the MCU. Like, she's a god-tier uh, character in the comics. Like, literally alters reality. She's a reality bender in the comics. She's a little bit less powerful in the MCU, but damn. It's like she definitely could have taken on... This is the, this is the sad part is, though. She could have taken on Thanos at any time and just straight up killed him and just didn't do it because of plot reasons. But, yeah, you know, other than that, still. That's the problem with having a character that is as powerful as she is, though. It's like, how do you, uh, yeah, how, how do you how do you not just have her solve the plot every single time? Let's have her be preoccupied. <laughs> that in the last movie had her try and destroy the mind, or, like, uh, guard uh, Vision and keep the Mind Stone and maybe try to destroy it or whatever, she could have just, you know, destroyed Thanos. Anyway. What's wrong, Pucci? You want, you want to reset the world? R slash <laughs> I Again, I, I will make the same comments as before. Let people enjoy what they like. Judge the fuck out of them, but let them enjoy what they like. Licensing staff going through the wiki. No pictures, just the way I like it. That's not true. That's not true. I used to be licensing staff. I'll tell you right now, it's not that we want to have no pictures. You just need to make sure that your pictures are uh, compliant with the license. And you're like, well, that's too difficult. No, it's not too difficult, you stupid motherfuckers. Just, just like, it's, uh, you know how many images you can find on Creative Commons sites or even site, pay, pay for them? If you want to pay for them, pay for them. If you don't want to pay for them because, you, you know, you're broke or whatever then find f there's so many free images or make your own second scp i ever did for the scp wiki which the f i think it was the very first image i ever put up was just a picture of my own hand whatever there's no easter bunny there's no tooth fairy and there is no foundation timeline there is it just differs from article to article there's no definitive foundation timeline come on Corporate needs you to find the difference between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. Uh, that's not fair. I remember the, the title of this one was, I look just like this SCP. You don't look just like this SCP. That mask is far more handsome than you. Do I recognize the bodies in the water? You do not recognize the bodies in the water. You do not recognize the I wish Google actually did that. That'd be pretty great. Censoring stuff. The Chinese government, the SCP Foundation. Oh no, I'm going to get banned in China. Nah, I don't think I'm important enough to get banned in China. Probably. The definition of attractiveness has changed a lot. 1915, 1945, 1985, Dr. Powers. Uh, 
You know what? For the core of this meme, though, like I don't get this. What do you mean the de- definition of attractive? This is just an attractive woman in three different outfits, and I assume in the original picture it's four different outfits. I wonder what the original image though. 1985 is when I was born. Jesus. Yeah, this is just an attractive woman in three different attractive outfits. I guess the first one's a little frumpy, but still, the second one's fine, and the the third one's fine. It's like, let's pretend like our standards have changed. To be fair, our standards have changed, but not over this time period. There was a time I was at, and um, in the Canterbury Tales, there's like a line that I I got really confused by, where like he talks about it's, and this is like what 1600s? I think Canterbury Tales is 1600s. Either way, it's really it was a decent time ago, and a guy talks about how uh, attractive a woman is because of how large her forehead is, and I was like. Stuff. And I looked up that kind of thing. Is like, yeah, beauty standards, like the concept of what is attractive, has significantly changed over time. Uh, but just changing people's clothing—that's not the same thing. I'm sorry. And yes, I've somehow gone from. Uh, I didn't talk at all about Doctor Powers because actually, I don't. I don't know this SCP. I think it's probably one of the newer ones. But yeah, this is just that's the reason why that stuck out to me. SCP-2913. And this is, this is the, uh, this is, I've talked about this a couple times already, and the reason why is because I guess it was on my mind. Uh, but SCP-2913 is actually my second SCP article. It's the one with the sentient severed hand. Uh, aha, well that's a long story. I used to belong to this guy called Jimmy. Jimmy was a real weirdo. And for the longest time, my only friend was Joe. And who is Joe? Joe Mama? No, I, I, I don't think, no, that's not fair. Rare disc, a heavy black disc studded with peculiar red stones. When you hold it, you're overwhelmed with a feeling of dread. <laughs> it's SCP-093 in Stardew Valley. Oh, that would be great. It should be like an SCP, a Stardew Valley mod. <laughs> How would that work? What would you do? Oh my god, thinking about it now. I guess you could make it so that the cave was actually an SCP site. Like, <laughs> you get down to like floor 13 or something like that, and it's like... There's just a mysterious door, and you go in it, and you're like, oh, hi, and then the MTFs come and shoot your ass. I get to see that being a thing. That'd be interesting. Either way. Thank you for watching. I uh, mean, go through all of these SCP memes and talk about them. If you liked the r slash dank memes from Site19 video, or if you like any of the other videos I do on my channel, scroll down hit the subscribe button. If you don't, I will activate the failsafe nuke at Site88. I'm not joking. I am joking. I'm not joking. I am joking. Either way, you'll know. And after you've done that, head on over to patreon.com forward slash dcimmerian and pledge at any level like the people on the screen here already have. Join them in helping support the channel and letting me know that I'm not alone out here. I'll see you all again on Thursday.